Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat new whiteboard tool called Whiteboard Chat. You'll find it at whiteboard.chat, and it can be used in a couple of ways. The first way is pretty straightforward. Just click Start Drawing, hit Start Collaborating, and you have this board that you can now draw on. And down here, you can add more pages and do more drawing. In the upper right hand corner, hit the invite button, get that copy URL. You can post that URL wherever you would like Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or any other place you would typically post links. You can see you can also use a QR code or send out an email. Now, if you give that link to a student, he or she will see it like this, and they can start drawing on it as well. And they can change the colors. Right, so down here, we see we're using Gloomy Frida color. Well, we can change it to this kind of other color, and you can do some, and they can do drawing there. When they close it, over here we see the student drawing on top of my original. Now, the other way to use whiteboard chat, so what I think is a little bit more exciting. Hit start drawing and select start teaching. Start teaching works in a similar manner. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna draw on it. Right, so I'm gonna draw a face. But now I'm going to click on grid view. And when I do that, it generates a set of whiteboards. And I can add more whiteboards by hitting that little arrow down there. A set of whiteboards that I can invite people to join. Again, hit invite, copy that link. And when a student uses that link, they'll have a whiteboard to draw on in addition to the one that I started with. So the student's going to see this original drawing that I added in, but they can draw next to it, draw their own face in there, and they have a little button down here to add another page. And again, they can go in and change the color. I'll use that purple color. And they can start drawing on it like that. Clearly, I'm not an artist. But when I close that, over here as the teacher, I can see what the students have been drawing. And so I can see that little drawing that the student has made right here in my set of boards. Now I've done all of that without signing up or signing in for an account. If you sign up and sign in, you do have more options to manage the boards. But this was a quick and easy way to get started creating a whiteboard and sharing whiteboards with your students. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.